Tell me, what are the challenges of routine use of 3D and 4D imaging? The challenges of uh, routine use of 3D and 4D imaging today are, uh, first of all, using uh, new modalities of uh, 3D imaging uh, to have more information on uh, different aspects of disease. Uh, secondly, we need to fuse uh, those informations uh, to have uh, multimodality imaging um, and uh, um, to give some uh, insight of the disease with uh, different uh, aspects of uh, quantification or qualifications of tissues. Um, we also need um, to improve the accessibility of the, those techniques because there is uh, a fast uh, technical evolution and we sometimes uh, are late uh, in uh, learning to um, master those techniques. So it's an important point. The other thing is that we need to uh, give um, restitution of the 3D imaging with 3D modalities of uh, uh, display. So this is uh, one of the major points. And after all, um, all the technology is evolving so fast that we need clinical validation. So we need uh, clinical studies, we need uh, uh, medical proofs, and that's, uh, that's tricky because um, everything is going too fast for, uh, for those kind of research. Now tell us about the perspectives of 3D and 4D imaging in diagnostics and interventional use. We can foresee that there is a, some kind of predictive aspect of uh, 3D imaging because it's uh, showing the body from the inside and uh, giving a clear vision for uh, the patients themselves and as well as for the uh, clinical team that will take care of them uh, because um, they have um, the disease is shown and uh, they can uh, uh, have explanation of the mechanical aspects and uh, also with uh, some kind of fusion with uh, um, other imaging modalities now they have the insight is influencing uh, the, the tissue itself so this is uh, raising new um, new perspectives for uh, prognosis and uh, as well as for diagnostics. Uh, in a preventive way, uh, further we can uh, foresee that we will detect situations uh, um, by the help of simulation, uh, simulating procedures, simulating events uh, that can occur during life, so we can uh, move forward to some kind of preventive medicine with uh, 3D imaging. And what is the computer scientist's role? What can they contribute? The computer scientist knows uh, much about uh, technology that uh, physicians uh, know nothing about, so they are very helpful if they are present. Uh, being by the side of the physicians and uh, um, participating to conference or meeting like this, um, like uh, Imagina, uh, we think that it's uh, easier for them to foresee which kind of problems, technical problems, uh, we can um, face and how they can help to uh, improve this uh, research that is evolving so fast again that we we most of the time are lacking of uh, um, solutions uh, to, to enhance or to optimize our research. Uh, bringing that knowledge, they, um, um, they are helping us uh, seeing new solutions for the future. And everyone here is a beginner. Uh, computer scientists know nothing about medical stuff and uh, physicians know nothing about uh, computer science so uh, nobody can work alone in this field.